hello everyone welcome back to our channel hope you are doing well today in this video we are going to speak about the major issues that you may face while completing the recommended courses on the infosys spring boot to be eligible for the infosys spring boot internship many of you may face these issues like assignment showing errors even when the answers are correct and courses percentages are stuck at some percentage even after completing them and also a final exam errors in this video we will clarify all of these doubts so please watch till the end without skipping the video so for more updates like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you let's start our video first thing is where do we find the recommended courses and the certifications uh, so the link is provided in the description below you can check it out so here you can find the courses that you have to complete you no need to complete all the courses in the, all the domains only the domain that you have chosen while registration you can choose that and you can complete all the below courses and the certifications on or before june 30 they will also send you an email mentioning the all the recommended courses link and the courses that you are seeing now and the mail courses both are same uh, so they will share a mail maybe it may take time so that's why i'm saying you complete uh, com start the completing the courses now uh, if you feel like i will complete them after the uh, mail receive so the time won't be sufficient uh, start learning from now and complete them before june 30 now i quickly tell the major differences between the courses and the certifications so you can see the uh, course at the end of the card and the certification for the certifications the major purpose of the courses are to help you learn concepts and build knowledge and with providing the uh, videos pdfs quizzes and the assignments at the end of the assignment you no need to turn on your camera for the courses and also you can attempt then and there itself if you failed also unlimited attempts you can attempt any times and there is no need to complete the precondition or prerequisites uh, to be uh, complete the assignment at the end and in the final certification it is labeled as uh, completion certificates when it's come to certification the certification exam is to validate your skills through a formal assignment to take the certification exam you have to complete some of the pre-required courses mentioned in the below then only you can take the certification exam so for the certification exam you will be having a web camera you have to write the exam with camera so if you failed you have to wait for 15 days to retake it, retake the exam then the certifications are labeled as an achievement so remember courses are for learning certifications are for providing you knowledge both matters but if you are aiming to impress the recruiters or uh, show industry ready skills focus on clearing the certifications more for the courses you will directly get the certificate to your Infos spring boot registration email id but when it's come to certifications you will not receive an email now i will show you how to check your result and the certificate of the certifications to check for the certification result go to your profile and click on the achievements here under the certifications you can find the exam results and the certifications down so here is the place where you can find all of your courses certifications certificates here you can see all of your certificates and if you want you can download them see in the courses it will labeled as in com course completion certificate while it for the certification exam certificate it is labeled as a certificate of achievement like this you can check your certification exam result and you won't get an email so this is the only way you can check your result and if you fail write it after 15 days uh, then you can again check the result here now let us solve our issues like assignment errors and the final examination errors for completing courses and the certification i suggest you to uh, do on the browser to resolve all the issues you need some changes in the settings go to your settings and then click on the privacy and security here you can find the third party 
click on the third party cookies and then scroll down here you find the ad so click on it and here you have to provide the url of the site copy the url and paste it here and finally add it so now you can take the exam without any issues i don't know why this website is still have these many bugs as infosys is a stick chain but this portal seems like half baked but don't worry this is the way you can fix them still stuck or if you have any issues with the website um, then here what to do uh, mail to the infosys spring boot team to mail to this email include all of your uh, screenshot of the issues and your infosys spring boot registration email id name of the course uh, they usually respond within 2 to 3 days and make sure that before june 30 you have completed all the recommended courses on the certifications also check for the 100% completion. So all of your FX learnings that bring you to shortlist for the Infosys Spring Boot Internship. All the best. Finally, if you have any other queries, please drop them in the comment below. I will help you. Um, in upcoming videos, I will do a videos on document verification and how to submit the project. For more updates, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So hit on the bell icon for that you never miss any updates from my side. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.